Welcome back to another update on the Coco Coins. We can see here we are continuing our recovery, uh, as you can see. And uh, yeah, we're just going to walk through the daily, the midterm, and the short term for this coin in this little update. And then we'll get a Bitcoin update for you guys out tomorrow. But the short story on Bitcoin is obviously looking fantastic. Right now, we are going to have a massive CME gap here uh, if. Uh, if we close at this level. So I would expect us to dump probably sometime tomorrow, but after that, um, yeah, it's looking okay. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, back to Coco Coin here. We can see here that, uh, yeah, we did actually break this structural trend line. We tried to reclaim it. Uh, unfortunately, we did not. And uh, yeah, we have actually dumped down. We did talk about potential pullback here in the last video, just based on the fact that we had five massive green daily candles in a row. Okay, uh, these are big, big percentages as well. We're talking it moved 16% last week. Uh, Okay, so yes, uh, this pullback was expected. We were a bit overextended from these uh, these moving averages, right? So as of right now, we did dump down uh, and we have wicked and now potentially looking to close this candle with a nice wick towards the lower side. If we can actually finish this daily candle above about 1370, it's a great sign. It means we've come down, we've retested, and then we can break this trend line as we'll see in the four hour. Uh, this trend line is super important here uh, for us to actually get over and maintain over. So if we can finish the day above there super super bullish for coco coin uh, but besides that as of right now uh, if we are looking at the daily yeah i mean um it is still trying for that v-shaped recovery and v-shaped recoveries uh yes i mean the structure isn't just going to be straight up like this okay you would expect that momentum to wear off and then grind back through typically anyway as we do reach these resistance levels so uh, what we will say with this on the daily is everything's going pretty much according to plan i wouldn't really worry about this thing unless we do drop below i would say 1170 this kind of area below that price action channel uh but besides that yes uh yeah it's looking pretty it's looking pretty good okay we are just ranging consolidating in this area uh, looking to break for that next wave up uh next week a bit of warning though guys uh there's going to be a lot of turmoil across all coins next week guys so uh, just be aware of that one thing i'm looking at with coco coin though is they are in that blockchain week in dubai for binance next week so that's going to be something that uh, could potentially cause us to run up massively uh, as we get towards those days uh, which will be on the 30th and the 31st so we're only a few days away from that midweek here i would expect this to probably be up around the 1460s this kind of area and then uh, if they can come out with any partnerships and release that news in the following week that's really when i'm seeing coco coin actually do the full v-shape and then bang it up from there so if all goes to plan uh, end of next week, we should be around the 17s, 18s, this kind of area, okay? And then the week after that, if they secure some decent partnerships at this event, or if they get the publicity that they need, or they find some exchange listings from the event, right? Then we should be expecting to blast through this area and absolutely bang it towards the upside, okay? Uh, if we do go down to the lower time frames here, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, we just talk about these trend lines here. So we had this, uh, this beautiful thing coming through here. Measure moves don't tend to play out as much here here uh, in these lower cap coins but uh, we did get somewhat of it anyway and we just got rejected as, as the week ended which you can expect again election times so uh, going to be a lot of turmoil on the markets and we did see uh, a lot of different kind of fluctuations with bitcoin as well coming through so the fact that it is correlated with the markets pretty decently right now uh, is a good sign anyway it means that there's market makers attached to this and that means it will generally couple with the market so if bitcoin starts banging it i imagine this coin to do the same uh, and that's definitely a good sign okay uh, so we'll see how this does progress if this does want to head down a little bit lower it's not a complete worry again uh if we did lose this kind of uh this this trend line here super important one uh then uh, it could be a sign to worry but i'm not really too bothered unless we lose that 1170 area as we said right so we'll keep an eye on this one but as of right now yes just playing out this pullback looking to reclaim all of these moving averages and then if we can get above that 15 minute volume weighted atr band at roughly about 14 here uh, then it's a great sign that we are continuing uh, this uptrend on this coin but yeah looking okay looking pretty decent and uh, nothing too crazy right now uh, we are just kind of trickling along here and uh trying to keep that momentum going all right but that's pretty much going to be it for this video i'll get a bitcoin update out for you guys tomorrow uh, and that is going to be it from me cheers